Hello mga amigas, ilit na amigas, but friends as well as na moms, dads, atis, kuyas, plantitos and plantitas, mga angarays, lulos and lulas. Today is a beautiful day, but before that, I would like to say thank you to my subscribers who is Gadaghan. So please, uh, when you are going to view, always remember that we go to places and wonder, but it's not places, but uh, I will be sharing to you okay, some plants that uh, is in Karon. Okay, so what makes it beautiful today is because I have here with me one family, okay, one plant that belongs to one family, my favorite family, and that is Araceae, Pirmiragid ng Araceae. And what is this kind of plant? Okay, wherein it has a heart shape, okay? Heart shape, good guys, yo. Okay, so this one is it belongs to the genus Humalumina. Okay, you heard me right. Humalumina and species Rubicens. Okay, so there are plenty of species, uh, confirmed species of Humalumina. Okay, and the confirmed one around, okay, there are 200, but the confirmed one is 100 uh, confirmed species. Okay, so what? is the distinct characteristic of uh, Humalumina robicens. Before that, Humalumina comes from a Malay, Malay, uh, Malay, it's not Malay, Malay word which means, uh, which is Humalus, okay, which means flat. And Mini, Humalumina, Mini means moon. So it is flat. Moon. So let us check it out kung flat ba nga moon. Uh, probably kung inana, flat moon siya. Pero what could be the distinct characteristic of Huma, uh, Humalumina rubicens? Okay. This is, it is, uh, probably inana na to, this way. Heart shape. Okay. It still, this kind of plant is monocot. Okay, later ako ikuan sa inyo. Now na, karun na. Why is it monocot? It is because of the pinnate lateral nga venation niya. Kana mga ugat-ugat at the leaf. So, it is very clear nga na asyay, ang iyang veins is lateral yung anas ya. No? Pinnate baka asyay yung anas ya. Okay, which is different from uh, kanang dicot ng mga tanong. Okay, another distinct character for this is of the pitchul. Okay, akong ipakuan sa inyo ang pitchul niya. What is the color of the pitchul? Okay, so for Humalumina rubicens, okay, it has a burgundy or red color of the insanit pitchul. So this is the pitchul. What is a pitchul? It connects the insani leaf to the rhizomes because this kind of plant has a rhizome, na siya rhizome or Kung may gaitag rhizome stem-like structure. Okay, another thing. Okay, heart shape. Margin is entire. When we say entire, it is smooth. Okay, dayon ang iyang, unsani. Ang iyang leaf base is, I think, uh, chordate. Ah, di palayo. Okay, this one is chordate. Or if not, para ko unsure ta, it could be chordate or sagittate. And then, ang iyang leaf tip is acute. Magamay ramang kaayo. Acute or alistate. Naara na siya din ha. Uh, do not, unsan ni, quarrel. Do not be angry. Okay, so, uh, naara na siya. Another uh, distinct character is the color of the leaf. Ang iyang adacial is dark green. Okay, let us check kung dark green ba. Okay, so dark green on my unsan ni. And at the back, a basial. Okay, maklaro gid siya when it is Humalumina rubicens because I have uh, also, okay, right after this one, the next uh, sunny plant that I am going to show you is, I am going to review is the Philippinensis. Okay, so for humil, Humalumina rubicens, kindly check the blades. The midrib is reddish or burgundy and the lateral veins is red so maklaro siya nga this is humil, humalumina rubicens okay, ingana siya 
another character for this one okay i tried to sunny pinch the leaf it has a distinct odor okay okay na a distinct odor mm na a distinct odor which is anis ang yang kwan based from my reading it has an anis nga smell as well as ang yang rhizomes na a shay uh, ang sunny anis nga <clears throat> Uh, Anthony, smell for this kind of plant it goes in clump or clusters so daghan did guys yeah yeah rosulate it turns around it uh, clumps okay by Anthony na in a rose pattern pattern so rosulate siya clumping siya but then please be careful okay uh, I overwatered my unsani my humalumina rubicense. Why? Because of the browning of the leaf. So dili sa ganahan. But what it likes most is a well-drained soil. So always remember what is available in your place. Okay. Use that. Okay? See to it that it is well drained. See to it that it will not uh, uh, form into hard ball, mag compaxia, so that uh, it will grow. Uh, as for the moment, this kind of plant it grows. Uh, tall, it grows big. Ang iyang dahon, the leaf can grow as big as my face. It can double uh, the size of my face. But then I controlled the growth because of space, because of a uh, limited space. So when it is still, when it becomes an adult, darker in color, the 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 leaf, the adacial, the one that is exposed to sunlight is dark green in color. However, when it is still juvenile, okay. It has a brownish, okay. Um, uh, there is a mixture of a brown reddish color, which is just like that of the pitchul when it's a juvenile leaf. So, this one, when it becomes bigger, it has a very nice foliage. It is used for our uh, ornamental uh, purposes. And uh, the color of the, the flower for this is burgundy, it has a space just like that of our. Uh, Gabi, our taro, ana siya, or if not, uh, anthorium, ana siya, din, ana siya, but the color is insane. For uh, purposes of our humalumina rubicense, aside from being an ornamental, I have readings that since this can grow uh, twice as my face, it can enlarge twice, twice as my face. It can be good for food wrapping. Okay, will this be edible? Uh, in other parts of the Philippines, uh, they use this as food. Why? Even though it contains calcium oxalate, but probably I have no unsani, no experiment done or unsani ready. Uh, unsana. Probably uh, when it is cooked, uh, the calcium oxalate will be uh, unsani. Uh, easily removed. Okay, common name for Humalumina rubicens is Maggi, or if not shield plant, or Queen of Hearts. Why Queen of Hearts? See, all the leaves, all the foliage will be heart shaped. So, Queen of Hearts, okay, plenty of hearts in the Unsani, in our uh, leaf. Uh, obviously, it thrives well terrestrial is not it's not epiphytic it's not uh aerial no it's not aerial it's not hydro uh high it's not in the water but then it go grows well in a uh, terrestrial habitat since this kind of plant is herbaceous nganong herbaceous it is because of the uh pitchule that is very soft no Okay, so this is our Humalumina rubicens. When it is juvenile, that is the color. But when it becomes an adult, adult leaf, this is the color. So this is easy to propagate. How are we going to propagate? Since it has a rhizomes sa ilalom, which is uh, at the bottom, you just slice uh, the rhizomes, okay, the root-like structure, and then bury it in a well-drained uh, soil so this is it our humalumina rubicens okay aka aka 
Magi, Shield Plants, or Queen of Hearts. So the next that I am going to feature is the Humalumina Philippinensis, which is Abangan Ang Susunod Na video. So again, thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for watching my video. For those who are new, kindly tap the like and subscribe button. So please uh, continue subscribing. Okay, please wait for the next video on Humalumina Philippinensis, which is different from my Humalumina uh, Rubicens or Humalumina Magi. So see, very nice uh, pictures. That is the picture of your Humalumina Rubicens Magi. So again, uh, stay safe everybody. Thank you and God bless everybody.